What I'm going to talk about right now is something that Callie brought home yesterday and this has been discussed on the Facebook page and I've posted pictures up there of what she looked like when she was fresh. Obviously this little bird has been in the freezer overnight so she's not looking as good as she did when she was found. She actually looks very dead now but when she was found she I thought she was still alive. She, her eyes were just so bright and still full of life energy. Now what this little creature is, is this is a sawwit owl. They are one of the smallest owls. I think they're the second smallest in the world. They are obviously mouse eaters. They're one of the cutest rodent control animals there are out there. Well, besides cats, checkers, right? <laughs> cats are pretty cute, but the sawwit owl is absolutely beautiful and this little one, which I'm getting an energy of being female, so I'm going to refer to this bird as a she. She's just beautiful, and the photos that I took of her yesterday are just stunning, so I'm going to plug those into this video so you can see what she looked like when she was fresh and looked more lifelike. Her feathers weren't as ruffled or any of that stuff. So I'm just going to show you a few close-ups of the bird as she is now, and then I'm going to put the photos in after that. One of her eyes has collapsed. This one right here. The other one is still domed. Now when I found her, these eyes were bright gold. They were just absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that I took reference photos first. Because she doesn't look as good right now as she had. So I'll be able to use those more lifelike images when I taxiderm her. Now, with owls as birds of prey, they are usually illegal for people to keep the bodies because they are protected. But I was able to obtain a taxidermy permit to stuff her. So, in other words, I'm allowed to keep this cute little bird, which I'm very happy about because she's just so beautiful. I, I just want to do this little girl justice by making her immortal through taxidermy. So I'm going to measure up her eyes and get the right eyes ordered in. And you can see that her little face is, was just so expressive when she was alive. She has beautiful coloring. If I was able to spread her wing, I could show you that she's got beautiful little spots and everything like that there. I'll just spread the wing a bit as much as I can. I don't want to break anything. You can see the coloration there in those cute little spots. She's just a beautiful, beautiful bird. Now, this wing was broken a little bit, so that's why I'm able to flex it when it's frozen. It's broken right up here at the elbow joint. Sawwits are known for their short little tails. You can see there. Beautiful, beautiful coloring. But those feet, those beautiful little talons, those are the showstoppers. They're just so beautiful. They're so yellow. So, I'm going to get her wrapped up in some layers of newspaper and tissue paper and a few bags to keep from getting too much freezer burn. When I originally put her in the freezer, I thought I was going to have to surrender her to DNR, but I was told that under the circumstances and the type of owl that she is, that I can get a taxidermy permit for her, so I'm going to be picking that up tomorrow, which means I have to take further steps to prevent freezer burn so that I have a good cape to work with. <laughs> 